Welcome to a Volvo video, my 2003 Volvo XC90 and in this video I'm going to be changing the brake light bulb So first thing to do is confirm the problem. I did confirm the problem, but I can't, I can't show it. So whenever I press the brake pedal, and I'll need to start it up and put ignition on. That usually helps. And we close that driver's door open. Don't worry about that alarm. And tail, oh, tailgate open. So I'm going to close the tailgate. So tailgate shut. So I'm going to press on brake pedal. There we go. Check brake light. And I'll call on my glamorous assistant to operate the brake pedal and we'll uh, confirm the fault so yeah i've got that's it yeah you can see that one on right's lit, lit up but that one's not so that's a confirmed problem this light unit needs to come out now i did have a look at it when i first found out the problem i've got to pull all this out so i need to take this out and just lift them out and lift that out and just move that out of the way and then i pull pull this bit that floor piece up lift this out lift the tab out it's same, same procedures for getting to, to the you know to the rear your the uh, parking sensor module and this is i think this is what secures the light unit in now I've got my socket set see what size it is i don't know what size it is I've not researched this or anything and we'll go for we'll go for 10 the trusty 10 and it's the right size oh damn man good so let's have a look i'll just set you guys up and then you can you can watch it hopefully you can see this the good thing about gopro cameras it's literally point and shoot uh, not so much like a digital slr let's have a look so let's get me socket all set up look him i bring a socket set out uh, as you can see i'm at thormic bay that's the caravan. No, the extension's gonna interfere with the with the little fuse, my rear fuse box. So let's set that up. There it is. And this should liberate my rear light unit. There we go. Unscrew it, and out it comes. Bring, bring you round. I forgot this right. Is there any more to unscrew? I think another one is there. Let's see. If I remove this panel from underneath this. There goes anything else under there that needs to come out. Yep, oh, there's a couple of torque screws, I think. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe, no, probably don't need to undo them. I'm not going to take out this top bit. I thought this would come straight out. I might have to undo, undo this bit as well. And hopefully, that should be another. 10, yeah, it's another 10 mil. See, I'm doing all the pseudo after, so let's see if we can get all this out. Gotta be careful, I don't want to break it. That wouldn't be good. I don't think there's anything else to 
wouldn't do. Mm. Yeah, oh, there's another 10 mil. There's another 10 mil bolt there, but I don't think that's for. Oh, it might be for like unit. I don't think that's for the light unit. <sighs> Try not to get my fingers trapped. Right, I think we need more tools. So, I found out there's, a, there's another one of these. And it's up at the top and it wasn't wasn't immediately obvious, but I'll show you there. Does that one come out? So I just uh, took it out. I actually have to watch a YouTube video. Let's see if I can get in with me. I might need an extension, so there we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, and the camera. <laughs> Put that back. Hopefully you can you can see. See that out, and that nearly caught me out. So I probably didn't have to undo that bullet for the top half of the the headlight unit. Go, that's that one out. Um, take it around, and it should just pull out. There we go, simple as that. <laughs> and I can get to my offending bulb. Um, there's a lot of this I didn't need to take apart, but never mind. I'll show you the bulb in question. I've got this precariously balanced, it's this bulb because it were that's a that's a brake light bulb, so this is the one. Twist it, pull, and there's our our offending bulb. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Yeah, it's black and bit. I don't know if it's actually blown. Let's have a look. It's it's probably yeah. It's well, it's not work. It's clearly not working because it's failed. The filament looks intact. Anyway. See if I've got a replacement in my stash of bulbs, which I, uh, I keep down here. There you go. You can get these from Tesco. They were about, I think about five. They've probably gone up since then. Let's have a look. I've got a single filament bulb. I think I might be in luck here. There we go. Yep. That looks about right. Just compare it with my old one. And let's have a look at uh, P21W. Yep, that's the same. So I'll just fit this one back in. And then I'll come back and we'll uh, we'll test the bulb. So I've set this up, you can see you can see the bulb. If I press on the brake pedal, there you go. Lit up with a confirmed fix. And I'll just button this all up. We'll operate the brake pedal again and see if that message comes up. So it's all buttoned up. Just turn the ignition on, press the brake pedal, and I don't get the annoying message any on. The driver's door's not closed properly. Try again. Uh, press the brake pedal, and no, no messages. So absolutely 100% confirmed fix. I didn't expect to be doing any more work on this car till uh, till the service, but. You know, these things happen and I've not I've not done a, a tail light bulb change before so I thought it'd make for a good video anyway I hope you enjoyed this one as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you there